So here we go. We're going to uh, take a look at how we can use the new checkout from Stripe. Uh, as far as I'm aware, none of the sort of major plugins for Bubble actually support the new features. So you kind of got no choice at the moment. If you want to use them, you need to um, move away from the plugins and do it yourself via the API connector. So got a basic app here. Um, I've installed in the plugins the API connector plugin. Uh, and the toolbox plugin um, from Misha V, which has got the run JavaScript uh, action within it, which we're going to use. So quickly, let's just look at the API connector. Um, I've got a basic header authorization um, with my API key for the test mode. And then I've got a bunch of um, individual API calls into the Stripe APIs. So I can create customer accounts, bank accounts, etc. But the one that we're going to use today is the create session. You can see it's calling this here. Um, and there is a new parameter to send. There's obviously quite a lot of parameters. And if you look at the API docs, you can see all the parameters. Uh, but the new one that we're sending is called allow promotion codes. And it can either have a value of true, i.e. enable it, or false to disable it, to not allow promotion codes. So that's all really I've done to our existing API call is I've just added this additional parameter in there. Uh, I've actually also made it optional, um, et cetera, there. So that's the uh, API. If I go and look at what I've done on the page, um, in order to use Stripe.js, um, all you need to do is uh, call Stripe.js, and you can do that from any page um, in the HTML section. So if I go to this particular page, which is called Stripe Checkout, and I scroll to the bottom, I'm actually um, enabling the Stripe JS um, uh, JavaScript um, via um, a script in the HTML here. So you can see I'm just calling the JavaScript version three um, from Stripe, uh, and I'm creating a variable called Stripe, and I'm using um, the public key test from our Stripe account there to initialize it. So that will load in um, the Stripe JS. Uh, which I can then use to launch the checkout, similar to the Stripe.js plugin. Obviously, does that for you when you install the plugin. Um, but without that plugin, you need to do that manually, and that's that's how you do it. I basically created a very simple process. I've created a uh, promotions enabled true false radio buttons, and I've created a launch checkout button. Um, so let's have a look at launch checkout. Let's look at the workflow behind it. Nice and simple. Uh, I'm using one of our other API calls to actually create a customer in Stripe. So it's going to go off to Stripe, create this customer with these details here, uh, and it will pass me back a Stripe customer ID that I can then use for my session. Obviously, you don't need to do that. You could just pass the session without a customer, and it will prompt um, for an email, or you could just pass it an email. But in this case, I'm passing it an actual uh, created customer to Stripe. So next is we call that new that API call that I just showed you in the API connector. Um, and you can see that I've now got allow promotions um, parameter in there, uh, and I'm passing it the true or false from the radio um, buttons value. Obviously, realistically, you're going to probably hard code that in to be true or false, and you might do that in the API connector, or you might do that here. Um, but just for a demonstration, I've done it as a radio button. Um, and you can see I'm passing it the customer, which is the results of step one or the ID that gets passed back from Stripe for the step one. And I've just loaded up some basic line items into the checkout um, to help us test. So that's that. Um, once I create a session, Stripe will pass me back a session ID um, and I can use that to launch the checkout. And to launch the checkout, nice and simple, I use the run JavaScript um, plugin or uh, action from the toolbox plugin I showed you earlier. And really all I'm doing is um, redirecting to Stripe Checkout, running this little bit of JavaScript, and I'm passing it the session ID that was created or that got sent back to us from Stripe in um, step two here. It's as easy as that. So really it's only, you know, it's only two steps you need to create a session and then call the checkout. Uh, obviously optional, creating a customer first. So let's go have a look at that. If we look at a preview of that page, it looks like this. So if I click the true box and I click launch checkout, 
what we should see is we'll get redirected to the Stripe checkout. Ooh, some of the stuff going on there. Um, and you can see it loads. And this is loaded with this add promotional code information here. Um, so I can actually click and add a promotional code here. Uh, if I was to go back and I rerun that process, uh, but this time I click false and launch the checkout, what you'll see is that um, the promotional code pieces has gone. So there's nothing here on the left. Um, so you can run it with or without. Now, how do you create a promotion or a coupon? I'll just go back there. Um, you can do that in one of two ways. There are actually, Stripe provides a whole API for promotions and coupons. So you could actually do it via API calls to create a promotion, pull back promotions, manage them, etc. Um, but in this case, I've just gone to the Stripe dashboard here. Uh, down the left hand side, under products, you've got coupons. And you can see here, I've created a coupon called Bootcamp 50%. Um, and if I click into that coupon, I can see the promotional code. So I've got a promotional code called Bootcamp 50, which applies a 50% discount. Um, so if we go back to our demo here, we turn on promotional, uh, promotions enabled. And I'll launch the checkout again. What we'll do is we'll test and show that. Uh, so let's click add promotional code. I'm going to put boot camp 50 and then I'm going to apply it and this should take 50% off. Uh, there we go. And indeed it does. And I could then carry on and pay and check out and so forth. So that's it. As easy as that. That's how we go about um, enabling promotions on to our checkout. As I said, can't currently do that through any of the plugins. Not sure when they'll get updated or even if they will get updated. Um, so if you want to take advantage of uh, this feature and other features that are coming and or have come since uh, the plugins were last updated, then the best bet to do that is to go to the uh, API connector and build out your own API calls relatively straightforward. Uh, thanks for watching.